Well, hello and welcome. I'm going to be showing you how I'm making my boho gypsy trees, balls, and angels. I actually started out, I was just going to make Christmas trees, uh, and then I decided to make balls, and then I decided to make an angel. So it's like all packed in one video. I'd like to give credit to Josie Gito because she was the original inspiration for my houses, which I made with the same technique and using fabric and painting fabric and making it pretty and then making it into ribbons and using it to make beautiful boho gypsy things. So that's what I'm going to be doing again today and thank you Josie. You inspire me always. I will put the link to her channel too below and I hope that I can inspire you. And if you can stay watching, I do have a special announcement in the middle somewhere of this video and then at the end. Okay, let me just show you what I'm going to do, okay, with these. Now, I'm going to make, you know, the same way I did the houses, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do some Christmas trees. So I cut out know what that's from some Christmas tree this one from cardboard that mailing you know the um, USPS their postal boxes I cut that out from this I just cut out from um, paper a uh, little cardboard that was not really cardboard I don't know, construction paper cut no it's a little thicker than that that was in these little um, squares that I bought from Walmart so I cut like that Okay, so we're going to do the same thing that I did with the little houses. And if you saw that video, if not, check it out. We're going to make strips of ribbon, of pretty Christmas ribbon. Now I have this paisley. I got this black um, polka dot, which I like, you know, as a background. It'll be nice. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Uh, now I've ironed them just real quickly. And then I've got this Christmas one with Santa. It looks like an old-fashioned kind of Christmas. Something from, like, cards from uh, years ago. And then the uh, poinsettias. I think these are those. Yeah, I think that's what these are. And uh, then I got another one that's red. And so this. So a little bit different ones for for everything so we'll see how they come out now if I can make room so that is what we're going to do so I'm going to start with um, I think I'm going to start with this Christmas one I'm going to cut this in half because what I did was I got a quarter of a yard uh, of fabric because we don't need that much because you're going to make ribbons out of it so uh, if you want to get more you get more if not oh you can get less but I'm not even going to worry about cutting this straight. We're just going to cut it. I don't have my good material scissors, fabric scissors anywhere. So I'm going to just start with that one and put this away. Fold this and put this away. And then I will get another one. And I think I've been like thinking about this paisley one. So I'm going to do the paisley one too. And I'm going to cut that one. I don't need it all that that much and it's easier to work on you know smaller sections and I like doing different ones at the same time instead of just doing just one continuous of boy this is crooked okay and you can cut it with your if you have that blade thing which I have but it's you know in the cottage and I did go to the cottage today and get some things out of there because I had to find some things so I could do this and this is that other one but we're going to work on these two I think for now so I'm going to put this one out and this one out and it doesn't matter I'm going to leave the black and white under there if some gets on it good you know who cares it doesn't matter so I'm going to do that try to get it So that, and I'll get this all cleaned up hopefully one day and have room. Well, once I get into the cottage, I mean, I'll have so much room, it'll be ridiculous, but you know, 
but we all say that, right? We all have, think we have a lot of room, and then we wind up always filling things up, closets, cabinets in your kitchen, I you know, moving to a house, say, oh, look how much storage I have. Yeah, <laughs> not for long. So, okay. And I'm going to do, I'm going to use this fabric also, and I wanted to show you on the, the plastic Christmas balls too. Once I make the ribbon and stuff, I'm going to try putting it on these too and see how that turns out. So, and I will sometime during this show you um, another Christmas ball that I did and I had started it in the other video doing the Christmas balls with the uh, clay and it was the white one and it's really funny I burned it <laughs> I put it in there and I guess I must have put it on too high or I was too close to the element I, but the whole top kind of burned and the, and it came out like a, a crystal I don't know if the glass burned too melted because it got a different shape to it but I, I will show you that during at the end of the video and show you what those look like but for now let's do these so we're going to get out we're going to get paint get your colored paint out whatever you want get um uh, we're going to use stencils where's my stencils i got my stencils out so I'm going to use stencils with paint and get your, you can use your, your blobbers, your daubers, whatever dabba dabba do's, you know, these things, uh, your hands, um, and then you can do, um, glitter on them and, I mean, just make them really festive. And like I said, you can cut, and you can cut them and put them on Christmas balls and make beautiful Christmas balls. I may actually use the bigger Christmas balls for that, I'll have to say. And uh, so you can cut them, once we cut them, we're going to cut them into strips. So you'll have all this beautiful ribbon to use on whatever. You can use it on your gifts, packages, you know, even just to wrap pr small presents. And so let's get going. I'm going to be right back because I'm going to get all my paint and get everything together so I can show you what I'm using, okay? Okay, so i got water got some paints and now I'm using the um, deco art so soft it's fabric paint and I'm also using the metallics from deco art so it's just a mixture of paint you're not going to be washing these so you know I don't think anyway so you don't have to worry about using fabric paint if you don't want to just that I like those colors on those so I'm using those so I've got my daubers or dabbers or whatever you call them got my coffee got my fabric and I've got a variety of colors, so I'm going to see, I'm going to move this out of the way here. I can put some up there so I can get some of this in of the video. Okay, so, you know, just kind of, you don't have to use, you know, Christmas colors, whatever. I mean, Christmas colors to everybody is different anyway, so use what you want. And um, I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to put gloves on because... Uh, I do make a mess when I do this. So I try I have an apron on because I'm such a piglet. Piggy, I don't know. So I can get gloves on. So if I do decide to go crazy with my hands, I can. So the first step is we're going to just put paint on and um, have fun and do you know what you want with the stencils I like to stencil first and then start doing what I'm going to use is the um, after that the next step what I usually do is I go and use um, paint not only this one I have the um, this is the liquid pearls but I also have the deco art squeezable paint that I use too so if I can find that we'll use that too so I'm going to just lay down and see uh, what I want to do. I took some of my small ones, so just anything. It doesn't really matter. Just have fun. I mean, that that's basically what you want to do. So I'm going to just uh, put some white on this one. I think this one is kind of dark, so I get the white will show up nice. So that's kind of cool. Hopefully you can see that. 
<sighs> the camera placement, I'm sorry. It's just still not where I want it to be, but I can't do anything about it right now. Oh, and let me tell you about my trip to Ohio. It was actually fantastic. We drove up there. It only took us a little uh, eight and a half hours. We took the tolls, the toll roads, because you save like three hours, and it cost us fourteen dollars. So for fourteen dollars, I thought we will just take the toll. My husband's like, "Yep, you know, it's not like we go there every week." This was a major visit for us. I haven't. My husband's been there. But I haven't, and he's been up there five years, so he's been down to see us, but I haven't gone up to see them. And my grandson, my oldest grandson, has always been like, why do you want to come up here? It's like so boring. He loved going. He likes going wherever we are. And I'm like, and then I got there, and we went to this little town. They're in uh, Toledo, right outside of Maumee. It's M-A-U-M-E-E. -E. And... um. But Perrysburg is right next to it, so, and they have this really cool town. I mean, especially cool. So, you know, Grandma had a ball there, and my grandboys went with me and my husband. My son was working, and that was on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and I had a blast. And my husband bought, we went to this shop, it's called Gypsy Soul. And oh, the cool stuff. My husband got me a beautiful purse, but I can't have it till Christmas. And a wallet from there. Oh, I just went crazy over it. And um, the whole store. And she is online too. And if I can remember, I will put the link below to her shop. Very cool stuff. You'll love it. Um, okay, so... So you can see I'm just kind of doing anything. Spacing it out, whatever you want to do, just have fun. Let me put a little bit in this corner, kind of so it's kind of all over. Mm -mm. Oops, my coffee cup, get that out of the way. You know, I made a cup of coffee before, and it was so good, and then I walked over to the cottage, and I left it behind, but the time I got back, it was cold, and I hate, I like iced coffee, but I don't like cold coffee. Isn't that weird? So, let's see, okay, so that one's pretty cool, so we'll let that dry, hmm, I think I'll let that dry a little bit, but you don't really have to, I mean, you can just keep going, but I, I want to start on this one so you don't you don't really have to and the, the one that's underneath I really don't care if paint gets on it it'll be kind of cool to see what happens with that one okay so this one I am I'm gonna put that in there in the water and then I'm gonna take this one and I think I'm gonna add some uh, purpley to it and this is that one I like it's the raspberry it's the metallic headphones are falling off Ooh. and just kind of mess around with the colors so oh and I got a pair, pair of earrings my grandson helped me my grandson Kanan, he's the 16 year old, he helped me pick out, he was looking at earrings with me, this another cool shop which I have her card and she's online too. She has bling, unbelievable. I didn't get really blingy earrings but they're really cool so and they're like kinda and I'll show you um, they're kinda like um, what's the word? My I can't think of it but they're copper and green and well, teal kind of they're really cool and they they hang you know my my thing is I have to have earrings that hang 
and are large because otherwise you can't see them. If you have a lot of hair, you know, you can't see the earrings. So I wind up wearing the same earrings most of the time because, you know, I don't I don't have a lot anymore. And when I used to work 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 I used to have or I used to wear tons of different earrings and stuff, but I don't do that anymore. So, okay, that looks cool with the purple thrown in there, right? I'm really liking that. Let's call it raspberry, sorry. Not really purple. So that is cool, 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 cool. Okay, so that one dry. And I'm going to take the other one back. Not that, not that it's really dried, but it's dried enough for now. And let's put some other designs on here. How about if this green will show up on here? And just use any, and you know, it's a good way to get rid of your paints too. If you have extra paints that you want to use, like little bits, pff, this is like the best way. You do projects like these, you know. What's that in here? I'm liking that, I'm liking that. nice. Let's see, I'm going to use another green. Throw that in there. You don't even have to use all of the stencil. You just use some of the stencil, you know. to get the design, some design on and color. Another green. Let's keep putting it on and see how it goes. All right, just play. I'll put some up in there. there. Wow, this is getting festive. That's really fun. Okay, so let that dry. Then you can dry it with your heat gun or just let it dry. But I'm going to get my heat gun out and uh, dry it a little bit, and I will be right back. Oh, you know what? Let me move this up a little bit so maybe you can see this a little better. There you go. Isn't that cool? I think it's going to be cute or pretty or lovely. Well, I have to do a voiceover on this one, so I sped it up a little bit. For some reason, I don't know what happened to the um, video, uh, the audio on this, but let me take this opportunity and say that I wanted to announce in this video that I'm going to be giving a free workshop away, a spot in one of my workshops. You will get to pick if you're the winner. And I'm going to come up with a word that if you type it in the comments, that I'll know that you want to be in the drawing. If you just want to leave me a comment and you don't want to be in the drawing, that's totally fine. But I will think of a word by the end of the video that you could just type in. You can go to my school. The link is always below and check out. There are lots of free classes you can take, but the ones that you have to purchase, those are the ones, one of those would be the one that I would 
be giving away. So you would pick one of those and then that would be the one that I would enroll you in for free. I thought I'd do that for the holiday season uh, and then also because I did reach 5,000. took me a while to get there, but I did. And I want to give back to you guys to tell you thank you for watching and uh, being so supportive for me. Uh, you, you know, that's so important to an artist. Um, and you who are artists know that, how important it is to have people that believe in you and support you and, and love you and love what you do and get enjoyment and inspiration out of it. So this is the way that I can give back to you uh, for being here for me. What I'm doing is I just keep putting colors, colors and colors and colors, and uh, layers and layers of the stencils. And uh, I'm using the liquid pearls and my fine liners, but I'm listening to Christmas music and I didn't realize it. And I'm singing and I'm talking to you guys. And then I realized after I went and listened to the track, I'm like, oh my goodness, how silly. I forgot to shut the music off. I was having such a good time, I forgot. So can't have that on YouTube, uh, copyright and so I have to do a voiceover but here you can see I'm just using my fine liners they really got clumpy uh, not good to keep your paints in cold acrylics get all icky so you have to be real careful with that and I left them in the cottage and they got cold so I think some of these bottles I'm gonna have to clean out um, I do wind up cutting the liquid pearls little top thing that little spout off because I just could not get the paint to go through it it was just driving me nuts so I did clip them down so this way this little hole is larger and then they came out uh, so that's what I'm doing so you can see the white it's just ugh, it's just not coming out so I'm gonna have to clean those bottles out and re put fresh paint in there so just be careful with your paints don't keep them in the cold. Cold is very bad uh, for acrylic paints. It's over. And I'm speeding this up because it's just long, okay? Let me just say, if you have done something like this or you've seen a video where somebody has done something like this with the with the Christmas trees and the balls and the angels, let me know. I'd love to see them. And especially if you have, give me the link to your videos or to your where your pictures are because I really would love to see them. We had a drive through uh, West Virginia and we went to this, we stopped at this place called Tamarack, T-A-M-A-R-A-C-K. Uh, it's called the Best of West Virginia and in it, artist stuff, I mean, there's restaurants there and like a museum and all kinds of home, not homemade, handmade, beautiful work. They even have a woodworking person working there doing stuff. And you can look behind the glass and watch them. But I got, I wanted to show you what I got. I fell in love with these things and I got one for each of my daughters and then one for myself. And, um... This one is Starry Night. You can see that. Aren't these beautiful? And they are wheat weavings. Uh, custom says, good luck, happiness, and prosperity will come to anyone with wheat weaving in their home. And this is the Starry Night uh, woven with black beard wheat. And I thought my daughter Jillian loves Van Gogh and that picture, Starry Night. So just thought that'd be nice for her and then this one is midnight moon and same thing uh, they're all a uh, wheat weavings are all uh, good luck happiness prosperity will come to anyone who anyone with wheat weaving in their home and this one is um, woven with black eagle wheat isn't that gorgeous and that's for Holly my oldest daughter I thought she'd like that. Then I got Rita one. I mean, of course. And this one was like staring at me. This one didn't have a box, but it's okay because it's mine. And this, but this one is called Ramblin' Rose Wheat Weaving uh, Handmade. 
Let's see. Does this one say what it's made with? No, this one doesn't say what kind of wheat it's made with. But I thought, isn't that beautiful? Ramblin' Rose! It should be Ramblin' Rita, huh? But um, I thought, isn't there a song? Yes, there was. Uh, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't give you the kind of wheat they used in this one. But that's okay. I think it's gorgeous. So this one's going to get hung up in my house. And I think that's cool. I had to get one right for the mama. Got one for the girls each. And then one for their mama. So we all have an. I like to do that. I don't know if you guys who have daughters like to, you know, like if I buy something, I, for one, I like to have one for me, so we like have things the same, and then sometimes I'll buy the girls the same things, like bracelets and necklaces, maybe, let's say sisters, or, you know, I mean, you know, that's just sentimental stuff. I'm sorry I'm making so much noise with this. I'm trying to get it back in the bag. Okay. That was that. Oh, and then I wanted to show you the earrings that my grandson Kanan, he's 16, he's the one that went into this store with me. Um, reminds me of um, Arizona. Oh, I did not get this twisted. I thought that was really pretty cool. On these, let's see if you can see that. And he loved these, so I thought, well, I wanted to get myself something. And this one was from Katina's Collection. And this is in Perrysburg. This is the historic downtown in Perrysburg where I told you we walked around and we had so much fun. Now, the other thing, I don't I don't have it yet, the purse, but uh, this is this is the place. It's called Gypsy Gypsy with S I E Soul and it is Gypsy Soul Shop dot com. And they have, and I've just ordered a couple more things online. She doesn't have everything online that she has in the store, unfortunately. If I would have known, I would have gotten more things there. But um, really cool. So that's, that's a great store. She, Like I said, she doesn't have a lot online, but I don't know if any of you live in Ohio or go near there. It, this is a really cool town, and I would go, when I go back to visit my son again, hopefully it's warmer it wasn't really cold, but, you know, when you're walking around in the springtime and things, you may look a little bit better. So, yeah, she's got, and the purse is gorgeous and the wallet. Um, I can't wait to show you guys, but I don't have it yet. He won't let me have it until Christmas, so I don't want to be cruel and sneak it and take it. So, So that's what I got there on my little trip to Ohio and in case you're interested but if you that this tamarack place is just really cool we walked in there we didn't know what the heck it was from the outside it's got this weird crazy building we thought and then when you went in there uh, and the food was delicious too we ate there food was delicious you know who who would have known so if you're ever on that road and you know I don't know which road it was I can't remember what number it was, oh goodness, what the heck was that road? I don't know, it just follows the GPS. But anyway, let's get back to this. And what I did is, now I've put some sparkly glitter on it. I mean, you don't have to do all this. I was just kind of playing around, messing around with this one. Uh, and this is that black one. So I'm going to just rip it. I've made a little tear, and then you just rip it. You kind of rip it you know the length the thickness that you want now if that's too thick you can just go in and cut it again or you can just you know cut it the thinness or the thickness that you want you just rip it and some of the paint you know because it's acrylic paint will kinda come off but that's okay if you don't cut it where you kinda look at this so you kinda like that but that's okay we're just having fun. So that's what you're going to do with your lovely fabric that you make. And then I got some of these out. Um, I've got some glittery stuff. I've got some hanging little beads. I've got some ribbon. I've got some more things. And, you know, look at this. 
fuzzy stuff and so we'll see I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with these for the tree and the the Christmas ball things so just get I, I have more I just don't know where it is so I'm not gonna go crazy this is what I'm gonna use and that's gonna be that and I got some some of these things out don't know if I'm gonna use any of them we'll see I still have this thing flopping around from the other I never wound up putting it on the other ornaments I did with the clay and um, yeah I've got all kinds of beads and stuff we'll see what we're gonna do okay so I'll be right back I'm just gonna figure out what I'm gonna do and then get it ready and then put it together okay right back. okay so let me show you I just cut really badly because these scissors are not my fabric scissors so um, I just cut I guess this is felt it comes it's a big giant roll that I have of this stuff uh, and use any kind of felt and I'm gonna just and I'm using the thinner cardboard piece or whatever this is piece and instead of the thicker one because I am going to put this on the sewing machine so what I'm gonna do is like I did with the houses is just glue you just glue this on so you have some thickness to your Christmas trees or little houses if you're gonna do Christmas houses or whatever man that's bad cut huh I tell you these scissors barely cut terrible so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna glue and I'm gonna use my hot glue gun I've got that heating up and then once I get that done and then the little uh, which I don't know where it is a little bottom piece um, I'm going to start gluing on where is the little hmm here you are got to do this piece too with some of this felt so that's what you do I did for the houses and I'm doing for this I'm gonna do these the same way and what I was thinking would be really cute and so the houses too is to just string them um, you know put the holes on the top like I did with the little houses and then the little eyelet I put in there and then you can take them and string them along and have like a nice garland of little houses or trees or whatever you want to do but so I'm just cutting this out of course you can't see me because I'm off camera so let's see because you want to you want to have that it's nice to have that cushion so when you sew it makes it feel so nice okay so I get that on so I'm gonna glue that glue that and then I will be right back okay so this is what I'm doing I'm just wrapping the ribbon and I wrapped it around so I'm gonna just keep doing that up the side so this way this is all uh, covered like I did with the houses you know what let me just get one of those houses hold on okay so you can see that I wrapped the side so that it looks you know nice and neat so that's the same thing we're gonna do with the Christmas trees we're going to make sure that we cover everything up okay so um, I'm gonna just keep doing that and then you know you can use your different different parts of the material look look different you know different sections so you just keep putting that around or you could wrap it around the whole thing if you wanted to and just have it oops you know just wrap it around and then you just flip it over but I'm, I'm gonna see which way is easier see now those look so cool because now they look like little Christmas balls I don't know if you can see that Isn't that cool and I wasn't even thinking about that when I did that so you can either wrap it around then you'd have it come it doesn't really matter as long as you cover up 
your sides because you're going to be adding stuff to this. So if you have a little seam somewhere of material, that's a lot better looking than showing that. So that's what you want to do. Either put it all around or do like I did there and then go from side to side and then I would have a seam. I'm going to trim it if I wanted to do that, but I'm not sure what I want to do over here yet. So we'll see. I may wrap or I may not wrap. And I'm just doing the hot glue because it's quick. So, um, and then, you know, you can add, you can even do add some ribbon in between your layers if you want so that you have like a ribbon, different color ribbon in there. And if you're not going to sew, you know, and if you have some frayed edges, that even looks even cooler. Okay, because we don't want these to be perfect, right? We want them to kind of look like shabby little gypsy Christmas trees. Um, so that's it. Just use your imagination. Do whatever. I'm going to put some of this on here. This is so cool. Okay. So I'm going to continue with this. And then when I'm done with this one, I will come back. Okay. So this is what I've got so far. I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine. But this is what I've got. It's all wrapped. Some little threads are in here. And I'm just going to go sew it. And then I will um, glue this on like that. Okay, and have, you know, that part done, and then I can add beads and so on, all kinds of other things. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine. You can see I just wrapped it and, and kind of put pieces in and put all the different, um, actually I used all the different material that I made. So, because I want this to look very gypsy, boho, right? That's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to go finish it off. Well, not finish it off, but sew it. And then I'll be right back. Okay, look at that mess. <laughs> okay, so I sewed it. That's the one that I was working on. Okay, so this is the one I was working on. I sewed it, glued it, sewed it. So that's very funky. Okay, and this is another one that I decided to do and do it a little bit different things coming down the sides and so and I did the little hmm, this one let's see what a mess this one no that's not for that one this is for this one yeah this is for this one so I'm gonna glue that on probably uh, I was gonna sew it but I didn't want to sew it I could hand sew it because I kind of want it there. I don't want it on one side or the other because I don't want the tree to look like it's got a front and a back. You know, I want it to have whatever, sideless, whatever. <laughs> so that's that one. And then this one goes with this one, uh, whichever way. This one I kind of left a little bit over. And I can glue in there and then I could go over. I was having such a problem with my sewing machine. You know, I have a sewing machine that's a brother and it's a refurbished one. I mean, I paid $60 for it like six years ago in, um, what's that store? Oh, Big Lots. Uh, my girls have nice ones. I had bought them nice ones for Christmas one year. So they have... And I, and I have my mom somewhere packed away, but it's, it's really, um, it's not, it's a Sears. It, it, I don't know if it even works. I don't remember. And it was like a, kind of like a portable, I think. So I have to try and find that one. Hopefully I still have that. I can't see why I wouldn't. I don't really have that much from her. Um, so... My sister kind of got everything when my mother passed away, unfortunately. But, um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add things to here. Sorry, I'm rambling on. And put, you can put little ornaments, little balls if you have, or beads that, that kind of look like little balls. I mean, you know, like that. Kind of glue them on and make it really 
funky and I like kind of I, I, all the threads I, I mean I don't like too many threads but I kind of like some of the threads hanging you know and then I have um, I gotta clean this place up but what I think is I just wanted to get this done and I was having hours of problems with my sewing machine which you know that gets you so frustrated okay so how about something like that huh isn't that cool kind of like I like that so I think I'm gonna do that to this one I think I'm gonna do some dangling really gypsy boho looking huh do that uh, and then I have the bees and I just wanted to show you I'm gonna start on this glass ball and I did put wire so what I did was I tied the wire to the little area here when that hook but loop and then just glued it with um, hot glue and I got a little bit of hot glue on this but I'll clean that and then left a little bit this is very thin this wire so it shouldn't even you know um, be a problem as far as showing I don't know how much you, you can dangle from it uh, I found this this is a little bit thicker but it's harder to work with so I prefer to use the thinner and I don't know the gauge on this because this is the one I just found this little bit of it so uh, I don't know it's pretty it's pretty thin but I think it, it'll hold some beads so that'll be nice so get that down if you're planning on having anything dangling because you know if you're doing plastic then you could punch a hole in the bottom and just run it through the wire but if you're doing the glass then you know be careful and just uh, do it like this would be the best way I think if you have a different way let me know okay but I'm going to start wrapping this with the uh, ribbon and see how it looks I'm thinking this is gonna come out really cool I'm liking this you know I'm just kinda taking pieces of it and then just gluing it on any old way you know and just see how it looks at the end right we don't want it to be perfect we want it to be boho and uh, of course the gypsy so I'm gonna keep going with this and I'm just gluing with the hot glue and then just putting pieces of this um, ribbon material that I made all over it and then we'll see what what happens okay kind of fun okay I'm gonna show you this was so much fun okay you can see that it's all wrapped and I'm going to add some embellishments to it. This is definitely a class I'm going to teach in my cottage because these can be used for it, not just for the holidays. You can just have these hanging. This is like really cool. And then I have the little piece here. I'm going to go find my little um, wire spinner thing, whatever and uh, turn that and they hang some beads from here this I, I really don't need because I have this but I just kind of use this to keep in place and I'm gonna put some more material or whatever around this I don't even know what I'm gonna put around here um, so I mean you really don't need this here because you've got the loop from the ornament so you could just cut that and be done with that and then just keep your uh, dangling part here so this is definitely going to be amazing to decorate I love this this is so much fun now you can do it with the plastic too I don't know about using the uh, hot glue gun with the plastic balls but you know with the uh, glass I was careful though I didn't want to get the glass too hot so I just did little bits at a time and just ripped up pieces of that material and kind of just wrapped it around. I didn't want to make like a seam in one spot so I kind of just randomly put them all over the place so you really don't have a seam. Now see that one has like a little you can see glass through there but I'm gonna put more ribbon on there and then um, you know put whatever you want around your lovely ball. I mean these could go on here too um, I'm gonna go look for more so oh, that would be cool on this too whoa very cool another thing you can do is you can just you know put glue and just put glitter 
on it if you want. Oh, this is what I wanted to do. Same thing with the Christmas trees. I'm going to put something special written on a piece of paper uh, and then glue it on in here um, for each one. So something that, you know, I think about uh, maybe at the holiday or maybe to the person that I'm going to give one to or if you're going to have these hanging you could have different things sayings on each one and uh, kind of in little I'm not going to do it bold and big just little hidden little little precious from the heart little sentiments or words that you want to put on there just something you know that comes from you from your heart whether you're going to keep them or not it's just nice to have part of your thoughts maybe a poem very tiny type it out on the computer and then just put it in here a part of a poem that you like you know a little or something about Christmas or any whatever holiday that you celebrate you know that makes you happy something from the past maybe or maybe uh, a loved one from the past or something or your grandchildren's names or your children's names or you know something that makes it a little bit more special for you and I think that's what I'm going to do with those and I'm going to continue with this and I will be back okay okay let me see if I can show you these and the colors on them how pretty all the beads this is the one I was started and uh, I think I'm finished with this one except for I didn't put any beads hanging from there I just rolled that up I don't know if I'm going to it's pretty beaded already so I think it looks just so cool beautiful what fun making these really that and then here is the uh, with the other uh, ribbon and then I put some lace and lots of beads on here and the bee the little bee or the big bee is on there cool huh and then there's uh, my hands I've got paint on me anyway even with gloves I still get paint on me and then there's a crystal in here that I think would look really nice with the light shining on it and you know maybe sunlight if you hang it in the window so that one's really pretty too and then I have, I have a plain one because I just like it with the material on it I mean I was thinking maybe putting a glossy finish on it maybe you know but I don't know I, I really like it with just just the material wrapped on it I think these are so boho cool <laughs> and then the Christmas trees uh, put the little bee up there with the button I put, took a piece of the paper towel and just wrote on there, love, and glued that on. It's got all kinds of cool stuff on it. This is an earring. I lost the other earring. And um, this has those dangling beads. Just a lot of fun. This one says peace. Did this the same way. It's got a little hanging charm. It's got beads all over it, sequins. This one I'm not finished. I want to do more to this. I kind of snake the uh, little beads coming down. And this this has an earring that my daughter had given me the set of. We, her and I used to go to a lot of thrift stores. She she was in U of A down in Tucson, Arizona. And, um, you know, I lived in Scottsdale, Phoenix area. So I used to go down every couple weeks on my days off go down a day because it only took a couple hours to drive down there we'd go out to eat and we loved going to thrift stores so this is one of the ones she gave me and to keep it because it is beautiful I mean, it's the purples and stuff in there my favorite colors you know are in there and um so I thought wouldn't it be pretty if I put it on the tree and I'm going to decorate this whole thing and uh this will have memories on it from long time ago <laughs> that's so cool and then I decided to make little boho gypsy fairy angel whatever you want um, I think she came out so adorable and uh, I used this kind of 
papery curled up stuff from a bag of this stuff that I have gotten with a little bracelet in it as a present from that Gypsy Soul store when my husband bought the purse and the wallet. So I thought, oh, that'd be cool as hair. So I used that as hair. I made her a little face, not anything much. Did it the same way. The only thing I did not sew this because I didn't want to fight with the sewing machine today. I wanted to get this video done and I thought, am I going to spend an hour fighting with Mr. Sewing Machine? And then a little star on the back with beads and fairy dust. And I just think that's cute. I love the little bee. I love the little scarf on her. So she's ready and she's got all her little gypsy beads in her hair. So I thought that was really cute, nice boho stuff for the holidays. Easy to make. And then I also wanted to show you this. This is what happened to that white clayed Christmas ball. This was the glass. And I put it in, and I swear I put it in at the same temperature and time as I did the other ones. But for some reason, this one kind of melted. I think the glass even melted. And it changed the shape. It's like a pear shape. And these don't stand out as much. But I did color it. It looks really pretty. And this was black because this was burned. And I went over it with the gold and put beads on there. So I think it, it's really pretty. Um, totally by accident because I swear it turned this turned clear you know when it's when you do white clay and it bakes it's white this was almost clear so something happened in there but it was cool anyway and this has a little hanging thing so I'll probably hang some beads from there but I wanted to show you that I thought that was pretty pretty cool even though when I first looked at it, I went, oh, no. <laughs> okay, the word, please put in the comments if you'd like to be in the drawing for a free spot in one of my workshops, the word gypsy. You can spell Well, you can spell it with an I-E and you can spell it with a Y, whatever you want. Just put that in the comments if you want to uh, be in the drawing for a free workshop. If not, just leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you either way. And uh, we will have the drawing on the 12th. I think that's a good day. Uh, and I'll do a little video and we will pick the winner. And in the meantime, go check out my workshops and go up to my school. It's free to sign up and take some of the free ones. They're, they're really, uh, they're lots of fun. I've gotten great feedback from them. So and to all of you, I love you, and I thank you so much for being here. And I hope I've inspired you. And if you've tried something like this before, let me know. Send me a link and send me pictures, whatever. I'd love to see them. And um, until next time, keep creating and having fun. And all you boho gypsies out there, stay boho, stay gypsy. Love you.